Congratulations, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Thank telling you, you it's been a long journey. But I'm so proud of y'all, man. And we, we're looking forward to what you can bring to the table, man. All those many conversations that we had. You know, now it's time to put in at work. And I, I am, have a very good feeling in my heart that what you all are bringing to Carry We Lodge number 307 is going to be memorable. We're going to take your talents to take those lives continuously to the next level. That's right. Okay? Absolutely. We all know the job that needs to be done. Now it's time to get to work. Well, we're once again here gathered together as brothers of Carrie Wheaton Lodge number 307. We are going to go and interview another potential candidate that is interested in becoming a member of our Masonic Lodge. If you're fortunate enough to become a candidate, um, you know, to receive the degrees of Prince Hall Masonry, you know, once you get your first degree, you have a 30 day period to learn certain things and you'll have a team that's going to be working with you and your fellow line brothers. Now, it's going to be a comment upon you all on how much you study amongst yourselves and with us, but you have to make significant progress every single week leading up to that, 30, that last 30 day period where you will come back before the brothers and prove how much you know about that first degree. This has been a long journey. Yeah, it has. <laughs> you know, it yeah. has. And like I said, but it's time, going by fast. It is, you know? I was going to say, yeah. it, it, time does fly. Yeah. You know, yeah, sure. but as I said tonight, you know, the work of getting in is the easy part. You know, the work after, we're gonna see how dedicated you are coming to the meetings, doing the things that's required of you as a brother of Kerry Weaver. This is one of the most important things of this process is having a formal sit down and asking them a series of questions on why they want to become Prince Hall Masons in the Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307. The degree team of Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307 all of these months and weeks and hours that we put in studying and preparing for the various degrees of Prince Hall Freemasonry. This is a difficult process and is an instructive process. We got to grind hard, we got to study hard, and when we get here on once a week, we got to make this thing flow. We got to practice on perfection now. But where we're at right now, we're still in the learning phase. We got to get out of this learning phase as quickly as we can and get into the perfection stage. So that learning phase is going to take what y'all got in your hands right now in this ritual, the other six days out of the week, the same demands we put on these candidates, the other six days out of the week, you got to start opening this book and rehearsing your parts. And with that same passion you said it tonight with the book, trust me, it's going to start to come into fruition. Our first degree of Freemasonry is the Entered Apprentice degree, and it is oversaw by our junior warden, Brother Woodrow Lundy. As junior warden of Carey Wheaton Lodge number 307, it has been my pleasure to reside over the first degree for these seven brothers. They have done an amazing job. They worked very hard to obtain this important privilege to become Master Masons. <music> So, gentlemen, let me say to you this. As you know, tonight is the night that you start your Masonic journey. Okay? Yeah, just the whole presentation, though, man. It's just like, it's just mind blowing. It's an experience that you. Yeah. It's indescribable. They yeah. can't describe it. Yeah. The memorization. The memorization. Yeah. Memorized. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought he was yeah. reading. Congratulations. So yeah, man. Congratulations. 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 That's Again, humbling. Yeah. Humbling to know that you know that's that's a big thing. I think when we when we went back and did the review, everything from start to finish made sense. It all right. came together. Right. Like everything that was happening as right. we started the journey, it just all made sense. It's just like, got it. I'm Paris Bowles, and I uh, serve as the senior deacon. Uh, it's been such a honor and a privilege to serve in this capacity. At Kerry Wheaton, uh, we're known for the degree work that we do, uh, but that standard is not just on uh, those days that we confer degrees. We also have that same standard in how we study and how we prepare these guys to be uh, efficiently ready when it's time for them to show proficiency. Once again, we're now here. We're going to interview another young man who has expressed a sincere interest in becoming a part of our August body in Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307. 
We're going to see how this process goes. The interest is there. We're going to see how serious he is in becoming a member of this esteemed body. Because this is what we do as Prince Hall Mason. Are you 100% sure that this is something you really want to do? Yes. As the uh, senior deacon, I've had a chance to spend a lot of time with these seven guys. Um, I've gotten to know them, um, their likes, their, their dislikes, their do's, their don'ts. Um, and we've really been able to create a bond. And that bond is really the basis of what I want to leave you all with. One of the most important tenets of masonry is brotherhood. Um, you all have developed a brotherhood amongst each, each other. I've developed a brotherhood with you all. Now it's time for you all to come into the craft and develop that brotherhood with not only the members of Kerry Wheaton, but masons, Prince Hall masons around the world. I do want to say thank you because you know, you brought us from a long way in a short time. You know, from coming to not knowing any of us at all and making all of making all of us feel like a brother and a brother to you. At my hat's off. I think the time we put in um, is, is, is worth it. We're gonna come in here tomorrow and show proficiency in the way that uh, our senior deacon has trained us and, and has taught us to do so. The second degree of Freemasonry is the fellow craft degree. And that degree is oversaw by our senior warden, Brother Kevin Fletcher. Working on the second degree and standing in as Worshipful Master gave me great honor and pleasure to be able to help these brothers towards their next step of moving forward and being raised to the degree of Master Mason. <laughs> Real exciting. Uh, butterflies are going on right now, so I can't even imagine what tomorrow. Um, I just can't wait. You know, it's, it's, it's exciting, but it's, it's nerve-wracking at the same time because, I mean, I know, I mean, I perform, and I know adrenaline is going to kick in, and we're going to be great, but it's just the build-up to that to that point. You know, we've we worked hard, we, we fought to get here, anxious to get to, you know, um, and definitely on Chris and I's part, anxious to show that proficiency to Corey, to show him, you know, because we grew up together, so how well we do. Is, is how well all of us do, so I think we'll be ready. Just to see them be able to come through and matriculate through, um, you know, different degrees and, and kind of j just see their approach where you can really see that they, this is something that they take um, pride in and they're very, very serious um, about the work that they're doing. Um, that's in part too because as a degree team, we take it very seriously. Um, we understand that we set the standard of how they learn and how you learn sets the standard of how you serve. Um, so we are very uh, in tune with that and we like to live by that. Um, and that's pretty much our motto. Oratory masters, bro. Oh, <laughs> Look, y'all like <laughs> preaching in that joint, bro. I'm about to shout. I swear, man. Yo, I'm about to shout in that joint. All y'all some oratory masters, man. Y'all are winning any contest. Anything. Recapitulate. Recapitulate. <laughs> So what so were y'all able to catch the similarity similarities between the first and the second degree? Absolutely. So that 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 can that can be a two-edged sword. That can help you when you're memorizing it and it also can hurt you. Don't even look at that first degree anymore. Get all of that out of your head so you can focus strictly on the second degree. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nothing. 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 And I've been to a lot of times. I've been to some public speaking like, I can't. Oh, she's trying to see where you get all of that from. Like, where it come from? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, being part of the degree team requires a lot of sacrifice to make sure the new brothers are prepared so they can be successful on their Masonic journey. Our brothers work very hard and very diligently learning their individual parts and all of the necessary work within the lodge in order to give the best representation of Kerry Wheaton Lodge 307. When these guys start learning their second degree and their proficiency level, they already got the ground floor, they got the foundation. So their work and study was even more strenuous. They worked hard, they studied hard, and they will come back before the brothers to prove their proficiency in the second degree. Great. I think we did great. good. I think we did yeah, really, really good. Great. Yeah. Really Thank you so much for helping us lock it in. Yeah. yeah this definitely. has been a really exciting journey. It's been eight months now, y'all, man. Wow. Y'all realize that? This is the first time it's been eight months. What is that? 
five more days, four more days, and, and y'all could potentially be calling yourselves Master Masons. Um, just anxious to see what's gonna happen inside, but I don't really feel real good about everything that I've been through. I appreciate going through this with my brother. I'm just happy that we made it this far, and I can't wait to see what the journey is to come. Um, our hard work and studying and, you know, brotherhood, it's definitely paid off. I'm ready to complete this journey with a good group of friends and brothers. This is great. Exciting, ready to go. It is definitely exciting um, to, to realize that, like you said, eight months ago, we had no idea that we were gonna even take this journey, but then to take this journey together is, is, is just a great moment that um, we can definitely take with us through the rest of our lives. I've experienced a great deal of growth. I'm proud of myself and um, I'm just glad to be here. I'm looking forward to um, Saturday, seeing what um, that has to hold, and then to uh, eat the food. Not being originally from Virginia, man, and just meeting all these brothers that's from here and live here, I'm thankful. Um, I'm interested to see where this journey takes us next. But I also want to thank my bros because it took a lot of sacrifice no on all of our parts. You know, you have seven different individuals, some married, full-time jobs, some of us have multiple jobs, but making that sacrifice because we want to take the journey. So, you know, we have to get up on our own time and meet up and, you know, make sure that we had everything learned so we could, so this could have actually happened tonight. So, yo, I love y'all. I tell you, where has the time gone? We are now almost on the eve of our third degree raising of our seven new brothers that's about to come into Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307. This has been a long and arduous process since last spring going into the summer. But now we're here having a rehearsal tonight at the Proud of Hanover Lodge number 264, which is our sister lodge in the county of Hanover. They have a little bigger lodge floor that will enable us to accommodate all of the visiting brothers and the guests that we will have with us on Saturday. All right, currently right now, I am taking the presentation ritual and constitutions of the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia and getting them sorted out and ready to present to our newly raised Master Masons on this Saturday. We want to make sure everything's in order and ready so that when they are finished with their degree, they'll be able to have everything they need to equip themselves to be knowledgeable of this jurisdiction of Virginia and Prince Hall Freemasonry. I feel great. I'm ready for these guys to receive their Master Masons degree. It'll be a great day. I'm excited to see us do his, um, do this work and um, you know bring these brothers in. We gonna do the thing. We are really gonna do the thing for these brothers. We gonna do it. Hey brothers, y'all hold on one second before you leave. I want y'all to go help get these aprons and collars and go ahead and place them on all the seats for me, okay? Our grand lecturer will be here Saturday. Uh, a board of director member will be here on Saturday. Some assistant deputies will be here on Saturday. And there will also be visiting brothers from various lodges. We are truly looking forward to this opportunity. I definitely want to thank my degree team for all of their hard work and dedication throughout this process on the various rehearsals and study. I want to thank this class, the Worshipful Past Master Rogers Wright class of 2023 of Kerry Weed Lodge number 307. We are definitely looking forward to it. We are more so looking forward to these brothers coming into the fold of Prince Hall Masons and becoming active and working in the Curry Wheat Lodge number 307 because this is what we do as Prince Hall Masons. Right now I'm a little anxious uh, and excited to see what, what is to come. Uh, it's early, I'm tired, I had a long week, but I'm, uh, I'm here mentally ready to just get started. Just ready to move forward, just ready to move forward get this thing going. There's a poverty in my vernacular to clearly articulate what um, how I'm feeling right now. Um, what I will say is I'm eagerly anticipating the journey that lies ahead. Um, and I can get a little laughter every time I look at Davis' tight shirt. So. <laughs> Nervous, a little nervous, excited, um, especially after we had to calm Danny down because his nerves were shot outside a couple minutes ago. I'm um, excited, happy about what's about to happen, and nervous, but I'm excited. We're going to do good. We're going to have a good time today. The time is here for us to do our job, and we've practiced and rehearsed for months. 
take everything in stride and be epic in what you do. We know the standard. Let's live up to that standard of career realizing with 307. All right? Yes, sir. The time is here. From the first word to come out your mouth to the first move you make from the first corner you square, everything is striving towards perfection in what we do. Let's bow here for a quick prayer. Gracious God, we come to you again as humble as we can. God, we want you to bless and watch over us as we bring in the new life into our Masonic Lodge. God. These from me to you. Thank you. All right. Okay. But y'all part of us now. We just got a couple more lectures to give you. We'll be done for the day. And then we'll celebrate tonight. All right. Congratulations once again. We are now about to enter the last section of the third degree of Freemasonry. These brothers are about to be officially presented to us dressed as Master Masons. This has been a long day, but it's been a great day and an educational day. Their journey is nearing its end. They will be presented now as Master Masons of Kerry Wheaton Lodge, number 307. Brother David Cole. Brother. Michael Crane, Jamal Washington, Brother Dante McCutcheon, Brother Chris Miller, and Brother James McCreary. I present you officially your constitution and ritual for the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia. Congratulations. 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 We have successfully raised seven brothers as Master Masons in Kerry Ween Lodge number 307. They are now the Worshipful Past Master Rogers Wright class of 2023. We're very excited about these new guys we got coming in, these new brothers, and we're ready to do some work, man. We're ready to do some work. And I want these newly raised brothers to know, as they enter this crowd of masonry, that the standard has been set and the work begins now. To my newly raised brothers, welcome aboard. It is good to have you in brotherhood. Also, one word of advice, that book that you receive, I highly recommend that you start studying now. You'll find it very useful very soon. It was definitely a pleasure and an honor, and I hope that they continue in their endeavors in the craft and go further than they have already. I know this has been a long time coming, and I understand that you've all put in the work. Congratulations, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Thank telling you, you it's been a long journey, but I am so proud of y'all, man. And we, we're looking forward to what you can bring to the table, man. All those many conversations that we had. You know, now it's time to put in and work. This has been a long journey, but it's also been a rewarding journey because we're now looking forward to what these brothers can bring into our lodge, into this organization as Prince Hall Masons. We're now in about an hour or so going to head over and celebrate them in the banquet in their honor. Because you know what? This is what we do as Prince Hall Masons.